A good Sunday morning, Northeast Ohio. The first Sunday of the new year finds us less than a month away from Iowa and just over a month away from New Hampshire. Despite the fact that Governor George Pataki dropped out of the race this week, the race for the Republican nomination still remains a crowded one. So what if it stays that way? What if several candidates do well early on? Well, election attorney Ben Ginsburg of Cleveland-based Jones Day outlined three different scenarios for the Wall Street Journal this week of what could happen here in July. The first, the obvious, there would be a clear winner. Second, a bunched up field of several different candidates. And third, a leader who can't get a majority of delegates on the first ballot. While the second two seem entirely unlikely, they would make for wall-to-wall -wall coverage of the conventions by the networks, not just an hour or two a night. I bring this all up because I went into the video vault this week and found the story I did 20 years ago at the Democratic National Convention in Chicago in 1996, when the very concept of ever seeing a riveting convention again seemed entirely implausible. Now, when it comes to the media and political conventions, the parties do their best, both Republican and Democrat, to control the setting. We spoke with two of ABC's political correspondents to find out what that means for the future of network involvement here. ABC News correspondent Jeff Greenfield is a true political veteran, as is his colleague Sam Donaldson. They both recognize that this may very well be the last network carried political convention. I'm pretty sure that if we approach at the year 2000 and the conventions are as predictable as they are now you will not see even an hour uh, a night that is because the conventions have been turned into made for tv productions gary smith who's doing this is a hollywood producer he's done the four last tony awards programs he's done the last three conventions the conventions are so tightly scripted because history has taught the parties if you make news you lose if you go back in history and think of exciting conventions versus boring conventions with possibly the exception of the 1952 Eisenhower Taft fight at the Republican convention, the exciting conventions produce candidates who lose. The parties have figured out that they still have business to conduct, but it's like making sausage. You don't want to conduct it in public view. Made for television productions have props. Greenfield points to the microphones and the computers at the individual delegations as items which once played important roles at the conventions, but not anymore. Are they going to make a motion, a point of order? Are they going to challenge the credentials of, of the Texas delegation? Are they going to demand a, a, a minority plank on, on welfare reform? No, no. So it's kind of like the Main Street in Disney World. Um, it looks like a convention, but it ain't what we remember conventions as. Uh, but that all could change here in Cleveland in just seven months. With Democracy 2016, I'm John Kosick. Enjoy your Sunday.